Hey guys, cheers to you. This is like an oldie but goodie, immediate post-workout vlog. For those of you that have been writing me recently and saying I haven't done my videos like this, what I did is in my old place a lot, I would do my workouts and I'd get so excited to tell you something that I would come right in here and I would shoot my vlog like I am now, completely out of breath at 422 calories. And I think the reason I haven't been doing that as much is because I'm making sure, as we've talked about before, one of the things that I, and I know many people do, especially guys, but really a lot of women, we forget to do the stretch. Like I get so amped up at the end of a workout and I'm you know, covered in sweat, <sighs> I'm feeling invincible. And I kind of, I guess especially too in the morning, you know, if I'm doing my cardio at home or if I'm doing my cardio, um, in a hotel. Actually, that's different. Because usually what I do is I finish my workout, order room service, and then while wow, there's half an hour before room service comes, I jump around and then I stretch. But, all that to say, here's your sweaty, very sweaty vlog. So here's the thing. The reason that I came out here right away, it's Sunday, um, is, and of course I didn't bring the stupid DVD in to show you, Would you guys be mad if I go get it? I'm gonna get it because some of you that haven't seen this, I wanna make sure I reference something. So hold on. I'm just gonna hurry. I'm gonna hurry. Here I come. Okay, so. Uh, Cause I can't assume that all of you that are watching my vlogs now have been watching all of my vlogs. Uh, God bless you if you have. Um, I gotta tell you. From what I'm about to tell you, I'm, I'm, I know I'm being a little paranoid and silly, but it's making me all the more excited to really get back into my routine because I did Tabata for the first time today. And for those of you that are not familiar, whew, with Kathy, all of her workouts, go to kathy.com, see that? Um, she's on my board of advisors, so I have to, uh, at Fitfluential, so I have to disclose that. Well, I should disclose that, whatever. But anyway, I've been a fan of hers for like 10 years, and I have so many of her DVDs, like I said in my last video. Um, but all of her workouts that are, first of all, I dare you to buy one workout that is your workout style that you love. In other words, don't don't tempt me and, and try to prove me wrong by saying, okay, I'm gonna buy a Kathy DVD and tell Kelly that I don't like it. If you don't like Step, don't buy a Step DVD. I don't do steps, so um, I don't buy step DVDs, but she has a ton of advanced weight training. I think she has some stretching, yoga, ab focus, uh, kickboxing, something that's along the lines of cross fit training. I have to make sure I don't say those words together because some people actually get angry if you use that word. Can I roll my eyes big enough? Anyway, all of her DVDs have not only like a killer workout, most of her workouts are 60 to 75 minutes, but then she has premixes on each one of them. So like this, this X train is a set, right? And there's nine discs in here. And then in addition to the nine discs, so you've got disc one is chest, back and shoulders, disc two is buys and tries, disc, you can look this up on the website and see previews of all the videos. But then there's over 140 premixes. So if you order this, and I, I forgive me, I don't know what the price is because she was kind enough to send this to me. You get a crap ton of variety. And this has 30 and 60 day and 90 day programs that she's mapped out for you in the book. But anyway, the point that I'm trying to make after four minutes is I was so blown away doing this. This is the first time I've done Tabata in quite a while since being so sick for you know so many weeks here. And um, I didn't, where was I last week? I didn't bring this down to Atlanta. Um, because if you recall from my last video, after the weird soreness in my joints on Monday, I thought I'm gonna keep it really simple. And I'm just gonna do like turbo fire. And no, I think I did mostly running. I just ran this week. Um, because I was so kind of freaked out about that weird, you know, wrist pain and shoulder pain and knee pain that I'm like, let's keep it simple. Um, so obviously the past two months, can you, I'm just literally like dripping in sweat. Um, the past two months, um, 
with so much of that being really sick and, and on medication and having to rest and then the dental work, you know, you guys know, I, I've, tr I've squeezed in as many workouts as possible, but I've certainly maybe been operating at like 75% capacity, 60% capacity, who knows, I'd have to look back. But, you know, my body has certainly taken a beating from the, the illness that I've had and, you know, I, I caused a lot of this. I can look back now and go, okay, here's your problem, Kelly, because you're so damn impatient and you want to get back and you're so, you know, not wanting to lose momentum and whatever. I went back and went full force at my workouts too soon. I kept working when I was sick. And so I never really got better. If I was smart, when I really got sick, like back in February, late, mid-February, when I first got sick, I probably shouldn't have rescheduled my vacation so soon. Um, but I was, I don't want to necessarily see, say being stubborn. All that to say, lessons learned. So, haven't done Tabata in a while, and it really proved to me how, oh, there's something in my eye, how much, um, I don't know what, what the phrase is or word that I'm, that I'm searching for here, but when you, it's kind of like if you're in the hospital, right, and you, you don't use your, your muscles, your muscles can atrophy. I don't want to say my muscles have atrophied, but there certainly is something to say that I am not at my capacity that I was two months ago because I had worked up to doing Tabata where, and the Tabata DVD is five sets of a Tabata, there's like one crumb in my eye that's just driving me crazy. So the Tabata DVD is five sets, five Tabata sets. So if you wanted to, you could pick and, and just do a workout with a warm up, one Tabata that she does. So does each Tabata has four moves in it and you do 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest, then you move to the next move, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. Each Tabata has four different moves and she does them twice. And then she does a recovery blast. And then if you want, you move on to Tabata two and then Tabata three. Now, if you wanted to, you could do a workout with just Tabata one. She has that option. Or you can do a workout with one and two. You can do a workout with one, two, and three, and so on. I had worked my way up to doing all five, so that was my workout whenever I would do Tabata. And when she does the, uh, so, you know, Tabata, as defined, if you define Tabata, sorry, it's, like I just said a second ago, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. You don't get long periods to just kind of sit and catch your breath. You just go, which is why I'm a sweaty mess, okay? And it's, it's so fun and I love it. But... I had worked myself up to the point that I could do the full thing straight through, really without using my remote control and slowing it down. Today, every single Tabata. So I would do 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest, and then as she'd get ready to go into the next Tabata, I had to rewind each one, you guys, each one for an extra five or six seconds of rest. So am I proud or excited about that? No, I just am, am kind of... Um, it surprised me a bit that I am that, you know, you kind of lose, I don't know what the word is I'm looking for. When you don't work as hard, you're really losing that, you, you know, whether it's your cardio capacity, whatever it is, I got to work my way back up. And that shows you, you know, what happens. And so many people, I think, you know, just go through a funk and they stop working out and they're not thinking it's that big of a deal. Like this showed me today, like, wow, um, I didn't even have a situation where I could say, oh, I was in the hospital for a month and I, you know, I haven't been active for a whole month. I've been active. I just haven't been at my normal full capacity. But what does that show you is A, I think it's a testament to how very sick I was and run down. And then two, um, also when you're not doing your full program, you know, you lose something. It's like you lose the, you lose your progress, a little bit of your progress. It's like if I was going, you know, 10 steps forward, I've probably taken two steps back and I have to start over, but that's going to only make me push that much harder. Um, I'm not going to get down about it. I was a little, <laughs> I was a little annoyed, but then I just realized like, okay, chill out. This will give you something good to measure because now I can, now I'm going to be very determined to do, you know, Tabata several times a week, maybe two times a week, um, mix it in with all of my other workouts and make sure I can, it'll be fun. This is how I look at things, you guys. Now I'm looking at this like, okay, look how bad I was with the Tabata. I had to rewind every single pause. Now I'm going to see how good I do on the next one and how good I do on the next one. And when can I get myself back to the point where I go all the way through? That's going to be a little accomplishment. I found ways to focus on the progress and, um, you know, stuff like that versus getting up every morning and going, okay, how do I look? 
It's my back fat hanging out over my bra. You know, that's what I used to do. I used to get up every day and just pick myself apart. I pick myself apart for things like this. You see that? Like obsessing. Is this fat? Is this muscle? Is that disgusting? Are people watching my video? And yeah, I'm not lying to you. These are things that I obsessed over. So not anymore because we have positive self-image and all that blabbing. What was I at before? 450? So I just burned 20 calories talking to you guys. Anyway, I am going to go stretch. Um, I'm going to stretch. I'll probably, because I've come, cooled down a little bit, I will probably like, I don't know about you guys, this might sound really weird. When I stretch, pretty much everything I said sounds, everything I say sounds weird, I'm sure. But when I stretch, I like to be really, like my body temperature up, so I will probably like jog in place and do a bunch of jumping jacks and weird plyo moves to get my heart rate up again, and then I stretch. I just like my muscles to be really warm and hot when I stretch. So I'm gonna do my stretch, and I will see you guys tomorrow. I leave for New York tomorrow, so if I'm seeing you in New York, I will see you there, and um, that's it. I'm gonna kick ass this week.